Service is one of the things that unites a divided nation, that brings us together as one America. In spite of differences of politics or religion, sexual orientation or economic stature, people work side by side to help their fellow man. And the service movement has gained a lot of momentum. We have 65 million Americans serving today on our way to 100 million. And AmeriCorps plays a vitally important role in this. You play, the AmeriCorps alum and the newly inducted AmeriCorps members play an important role in your service and in calling an army to deal with some of the most intractable problems our country faces today. And that's why as chairman of the newly formed Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation in developing a plan to implement our blueprint for community action, first thing we did was take advantage of national resources and state resources with the help of the Corporation for National and Community Service, uh, the Texas State Corporation, and the One Star Foundation. We have five AmeriCorps VISTA members who are going to start to help us with our implementation to make Houston more literate. What do you think they're going to do? A large part of their task is to help mobilize an army of volunteers to help our fellow Houstonians read better. Um, my father has always said that any definition of a successful life must include service to others. And I'm sorry I can't be with you today. As you watch this video, I'll be in Kennebunkport, Maine, observing the induction ceremony of AmeriCorps members being, being hosted by my father. Uh, but I want to send the very best wishes from the entire Bush family. Congratulations to AmeriCorps celebrating the 20th anniversary to One Star celebrating your 10th anniversary. And we're so proud of each of you who have chosen a life of service. Your, your lives will be defined as being successful as you pitch in and help, help empower individuals, strengthen families, and build communities. Thank you, Godspeed in your service, and thank you all very much.